Hi, welcome. This topic of this video is going to be what did we do in April? So it's uh, the update video. So keep rolling is included in this video. What did we change? Well, you're looking at something we changed. It's the Alcolix B Mate. It's a new look. We have changed the icon themes and uh, some of the settings, which makes it, I hope, a lot nicer when you boot up because first impressions are everything. I have an article here ready. So this is the release article of April, but um, we're gonna make a video also how to keep rolling. So everything is ready. I have an Oracle VM virtual machine, virtual box ready. And we use templates. A template is a setting where everything is, is empty actually. The hard disk is still empty. The optical drive is empty, but all the settings are correct. VBox, VGA, and the memory, etc., etc. There are articles about that in articlelinks.com. Then I clone everything and I'm gonna say it's gonna be the Arco Linux version of 19.3, so March. I've downloaded that already and I'm gonna put it in and see what things I can tell you about what changed and what elements we should watch out for. I don't know, let's have a look. So generally speaking, you put an ISO in there, you boot up and you install. We're not gonna film everything because that would be dreary. Dreary? Dreary is the word. Boring, basically. Um, so it's just a general installation. Let's go till there. So it's included as well in the video. And then pause, reboot and tell you what changed. So this is the old version, Ctrl-T. This is the version of 1903. And this video is about how to keep rolling. So let's not go into detail, you know the drill, how to install, lots of videos, how to do that. But in this case, we have already the option, no swap, swap, swap. Uh, so it's nothing, no hibernate and a little bit bigger. So you choose whatever you want. No swap is for the guys who have lots of gigabytes of RAM. And the guys who don't use, go to sleep. There you go. So we have um, everything installed. Install, install. And let's pause the video here. And we're going to restart. Control F is what I do to get a full screen. Now, maybe it's better I do a power off in the sense that this ISO is still in there. If you get rid of the ISO and start again, you'll get a proper boot up like on an SSD. With you've chosen for a themed grub. There was a vote some time ago on Facebook. And there we are. So this is what we were working on in March. It means we had done a lot of theming chosen for other icons and other wallpaper and so many other things. But um, what should we do now? So keep it rolling, right? So let's first go inside here to our release article, would be maybe best. Articlelinux.info. And we are gonna make the link later on. This is our article. This is the one we're gonna go over. Now, development of Qtile. So Qtile is, is something that's new. Let's maybe make it big again for the moment. If you go to articlelinux.info, anything articlelinux is good. Why? Because there is a shortcut to any of our websites. In this case, I want to go to articlelinux B to tell you guys that yes, I have made a Qtile menu in the meantime. I have added links in here. There's an image, I believe it's here for Qtile minimal. And there's another one here for Qtile. So everything has been changed. A little thing here saying, hey, we have Qtile, start here, links, and here we are at the Qtile. So either you say I wanna have a full ISO, I'm gonna build it, and I'm gonna have this look as well. I wanna have that. 
and then you build the procedure, follow the videos. And the same goes if you wanna have a minimal. So the point of the minimal is just an exercise. For us, it's no work at all. It's just the minimal uh, version. I mean, you have a full version with Firefox, well, let's say three browsers, four editors, etc. In the minimal, you say one browser, one editor, and that's um, the exercise we've made here for all 13 of them. Okay, so that's Qtile. We have been developing for it from, uh, from for some time, I mean, a month or two or so. So we've been, off and on, we've been developing it. It's uh, basically the work from Nick Petrov, our Arculus Key uh, core member, and of course, don't forget to mention the beta tester because we do rely more and more on our beta testers. So basically, I do feel they're part of our beta team or our, our Arco Linux team. So Qtile is a result of many people figuring it out how to make it work and it looks awesome, it works awesome, uses not that much memory at all. And if you're in, of course, if you're into window tiling managers, then this is again a new one. So a new possibility to try because we have already a few of them. Let's have a look. We have awesome BSPWM, i3 is one, Qtile is one, and Xmonad is one. So one, two, three, four, five of the tiling window manager. So it's time for a next release to make a simple desktop again, not the tiling window manager, but we'll see what we'll choose. So Qtile has been developed, has been made. Um, there's also the super Q that we have to close a window here now. And we've impl implemented it also in the other uh, tiling window managers and in XFC, Openbox and i3. So you can try that one out. There are not any, there are not any tutorials yet. Why? Uh, let's go to this, that, and right mouse click, new tab, add Linux D is where all the, the tutorials are, are about uh, all these desktops. So as well here, you'll find a gallery installation and the articles. So we do need to make more articles, but that's for the future. So we have already a gallery and how to install the Qtile on Arconix D ISO, but all the articles in here will be about Qtile, point. Doesn't matter how they are delivered, delivering can be via Arch Linux D or Arch Linux B, but in the end, it's Arch Linux with a desktop called Qtile. So here are the tutorials, and here are here's the way how to build it. So that's something else: is building the ISO, and this is actually learning about the desktop. And as an example, well, phase five needs to be made as well, so Qtile will be coming here as well. But this is Arch Linux. So for instance, I don't know, Cinnamon articles. So you just click on those links and Qtile will make more and more and more articles. So we see here lots of knowledge on Cinnamon. That's on the to-do list. Then tweaking of Cinnamon, um, we've made a new look. So this is the look we have at this point with surfing icons. I do believe it's much better than the Sati icons, which gives again, first impressions are everything that it's an, a nice uh, desktop to work in. Of course, icons are so personal, but you know, Arch Linux has a bunch of icons on it. You just choose. Maybe do check if you have, uh, if you work with Vivaldi, make sure that it, this one is installed. I don't think it's installed on the ISO at this point in time. So it's on the next ISO probably, well, probably, surely. But um, it all depends if you're using Vivaldi. It, it gives us this pop-up like you've seen earlier on in the video, this pop-up to give you the, the password. And if this application is not there, no pop-up, no Vivaldi. Simple as that. That was only the case in Cinnamon. Tweaking of Mate, we've done that as well. Well, you, you can find the, the more, more in this article, so that's okay. Tweaking of Mate, so the same thing applied here. The, the first impression said, this is not nice. So sadly icons are out. The surfing icons look much better as a first impression. And of course, we did not stop there. A little bit more tweaking of wallpapers and so on. More can be found in the article and the video. 
Compton is really going rapidly in development, which is good since um, it has been when, been quiet for years in Compton. But now we have a new team, so new developers, and they are moving ahead to from 4 to 5 to already 6.2.2, which means that if you're using old Compton comps, then if you run them anyway via the terminal, you'll see warn messages. So we've noticed that things are moving along and that new parameters and new changes and they are giving us a warn message, don't use this, do use that, etc. So we'll probably keep on uh, following the progress they make and keep on changing and figuring out the best way to make a Compton Conf with the new developments. Regarding the Compton Conf, um, if you're on VirtualBox and you're still not sure to put it on SSD, then you'll see that the Compton Conf is made um, specifically for SSD. So transparency, like con keys and, and things like that, they it will work on uh, an SSD or a hard disk, but it will not work on a virtual box. Inside the Compton Conf is a little line that says, put a hashtag in front of this line to get transparency back in virtual box. So it all depends on your heart. This, this particular thing depends on your hardware, but also if it's a virtual box or not. Okay. The Arc themes have changed as well from uh, person. So Nico Hood is now taking care of the Arc themes and we have now implemented this package on all Arc Linux Bs and Ds and everywhere. So we've been trying it out for a month and it's looking okay for um, all the others. SuperQ had sold something about it. So we have uh, a new button, new keyboard shortcut to close a window. So normally it's Super Shift Q in window tiling managers. Now SuperQ will work as well. And here are the guys where it is implemented. All the rest is not. Alias CB is um, worthy of a separate tutorial. So I'm going to make that one later. It actually makes our life easier. We have a bash RC, but there is also a bash RC latest and we have to compare them. We have to load it up. And maybe if we think about it, we should, can also make a copy inside ETC scale of these guys. So that it's all the same everywhere. So this little CB is going to make sure that I have the latest bash RC from Arc Linux. That's basically what it does. The mirror list, we've, um, we're relying on one thing. Well, mainly the seat host because we are buying for it. You remember the seat host, that's easily reachable via downloads. And there is a link down here the data center, Netherlands, Europe. Click on here and we're on seat host. So that's um, okay. I mean, it's working super. We get positive feedback that it's super fast. And then we're up to the another one. So HBlock is an application that we've uh, used, that we are using. Um, let's take this one, articles.com and look for HBlock. So HBlock is blocking lots of spam stuff and blocking malware domains and, and lots of things. It's more than 100,000, but was it 130,000, 140,000? It's somewhere in there already. So it's going to, it's keeping track of all these domains for us. So we don't get per accident on a website where we shouldn't be, we should, that we are tracking or where there's danger even to your computer even on Linux, maybe. Anyway, it um, changes if you install it, it will change your way of looking at the internet. You'll see lots less of advertising. Anyway, um, if you're using, using Redshift, then you should whitelist this little location since um, it's gonna try to figure out where you are. If you're living in Belgium, then he knows what time it's get dark, it's getting dark and then he can make it a little bit redder. That's the idea of Redshift then your screen becomes a little bit changed in color. Umox surprised us with a package build that was so long and, and took so many megabytes in downloading for, for the dependencies and all that. 
that we decided to not install it anymore. So Umox is out as an application. And um, I was thinking right now, this is actually a great time to start letting this computer um, make his updates before I forget. So control T Eric, control alt T. And then um, we update this thing while we speak. So this is one of the questions we got since we, um, well, there's a, a possibility to replace one package with the other in the package build. And that's exactly what the Arch Linux guys did, not us. And this is a bunch of software that I need to install. But the things that are from us is minute. Well, it's a lot of work, don't, that's true, but it's not that much. It actually starts here and it adds here. So these are the packages from us. All the rest is Arch, just Arch Linux. Let's do that. And that's up to date. Well, control C, let's make it educational. What if I do a backup scale first? That means that the content that I, that's now in the scale is now also in a folder. This is the folder. This is the content of my ETC scale at this point in time after a clean installation. Okay, now let's go back. That's twice I did. <laughs> let's delete one. Okay. Typo. Update. All right, go ahead. Now you can update. So that's the download. So Umox is out. Umox might be in here somewhere, maybe but um, it's from the AUR, so it's not yet here. Update is going to update Arch Linux and Arch Linux, never AUR. The open box menu is, is, has been edited since Google Plus has died. Then there is this square in bin. So this little thing that you have here, square, is a new one. And there's a new conky out in the world. Yay, a smooth information. So Conky Zen, and you select it and you have it. All depends what um, desktop you're on. So sometimes you need to change something because they are, of course, tweaked and teamed to be good in, in XFC or Box i3, but not in other desktops. And then some general improvements. There were some XFC leftovers, backgrounds, um, so images, so this kind of bluish. Um, background with a mouse on it and Blue's firmware at some point in time got orphaned and it's uh, moved now to the AOR I think so it's out of our package list we've tested it out we don't use it we don't have we don't need it really not the guys that are on Arc Linux and not the beta testers so I think it's safe to say that it's out so you know it's out if something goes wrong with you and your system you install yay minus s blue is firmware and it's working again so we should do some more qtile tutorials for sure so fine we'll do that and the video that we are making is going to be in here how to stay rolling or what changed and there are more tutorials here and yes goip is still working i just test this morning so it all depends it points to his uh, website that's not from us that will or will not provide where you live and then this button moves over the map all right so that's um what we've been doing so let's make this more a tutorial kind of thing an update of a system is always in interesting to watch you never know what you you'll find as an error or something like that and then you have to use your imagination and your analysis skills to figure out what is going on now, probably uh, since Arch Linux is always cutting edge, there will be a Linux somewhere in there. So a kernel. And if there's a Linux kernel in there somewhere, we need to reboot. Simple as that. Since it's been a while, it's probably safe to say we need to restart. 